वेलकम एवरी वन सो येस मैनी पीपल फेल्ड बिकॉज दे थॉट डेट हाउ डू वी डू समथिंग लाइक दिस एंड इन दिस काइंड ऑफ अ सीनेरियो येस यू हैव टू यूज लॉग्स आई अग्री टू दैट बट एट वॉट स्टेज एंड एवरी थिंग डिपेंड्स ऑन इफ इट्स एन एम सी क्यू क्वेश्चन एवरी थिंग डिपेंड्स ऑन योर ऑप्शन एज वेल ओके सो फॉर दोज ऑफ यू हु थिंक दैट यू कैन डिरेक्टली यूज लॉग्स येस यू कैन डिरेक्टली यूज लॉग्स एंड लेट से वील आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू ऑल द सीनैरियोज ओके सो फर्स्ट इफ आई डू लॉग ऑन बोथ साइड सो वी हैव बेसिकली लॉग एट रेस टू एक्स इक्वल्स टू लॉग एटी ओके एंड प्लीज रिमेंबर द रूल ऑफ लॉगैरिजम्स आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो वी हैव लॉग ऑफ ए रेस टू एम विच कैन ईजिली बी रिटर्न एज वॉट एम लॉग ए सो योर ऑल्सो दिस विल बी रिटर्न एज वॉट एक्स लॉग एट equals to log 80 now in order to find the value of x let's divide both sides by log 8 so answer comes out to be what x equals to log 80 upon log 8 which can very well be written as what log 80 to the base 8 okay Why like that? Because log of a upon log of b can be written as log of a to the base b. Please understand, students. Everything in logarithm or in indices can be done very very easily, provided you have a thorough understanding of these rules. Okay. Now next, what we can do over here is we can. so let's assume that your options given were not neither this nor this then in that case what you will do okay so first we will write try to write 80 in terms of what 8 so we'll write this as what 8 into 10 now at this point yes you can use logs on both sides so this becomes what x sorry this becomes x log 8 and this becomes c log of a product a b is can be written as what log of a plus log of b so this will be written as log 8 plus log 10 okay now please understand whenever there is no base given okay so it is assumed it is always assumed that all of these bases are nothing but what 10 okay so now at this point you need to remember that log of any number to the base of same number will always be 1 so here we can say x log 8 is equals to log 8 plus 1 now from here we'll divide both sides by log 8 so x becomes let's split the numerator so log 8 upon log 8 gets you 1 plus 1 upon log 8 so this is one part of your answer okay another thing is if they have already told you the value of log 8 okay so then in that case when you do the final answer you will realize that the value of x comes out to be 2.107 okay now please understand when you had something like this x 8 raised to x and this was given as 80 and if they had given you values in terms of what direct proper values like 2 point something something 3 point something something 1 point something something and 4 point something something then i would request you that all of this would have this could have been done literally orally you can do this in your head by because see you just had to do what 8 raised to 2 8 raised to 3 8 raised to 1 and 8 raised to 4 you just work on the integer part okay so 8 raised to 2 gets you what 64 this gets you 512 this is 8 raised to 1 is 1 now please understand you need the value of 8 which is closest to 80 but it cannot be greater than 80 so this got this gets cancelled this gets cancelled obviously this will also get cancelled all you're left with is just 2 but please understand this would have only worked if if all of these numbers were different all the integer parts of your answers were different if in case you had one value which was 
let's say uh, 3, 2 and the other one was 2.107. Then in that case, I would want you to or rather you should actually use the logarithm book and log table and basically get the values. That would have been the best way to solve these kind of questions. But yes, please understand this kind of scenarios also happen. Okay, now see last we saw that 8 raised to x equals to 80. From here we realize that x is nothing but what 1 plus 1 upon log 8. Now please understand this can be written as 1 plus log 8 raised to minus 1. Why like that? See a raised to 1 upon a can be written as what a raised to minus 1. So that is the entire logic which you could have done in this case. Okay. Now this lot of people think that this is absolutely correct. I purposely showed you this method. But in this case of scenario, this doesn't work. Why like that? Because then this becomes what 1 minus log of 8. Right. Remember the rule log of a raised to m can be written as m log a. So please understand, a lot of people make the mistake and simplify this in this form. But this is absolutely wrong. Okay, because this value, at least this entire rule of indices do not apply in logarithm. Okay, so please be very, very sure about what you are selecting and what you are not selecting. So finally, we'll write down the various answers which we got for value of x. 1 was what log of 80 to the base 8. Another was 1 plus 1 upon log 8. Next was direct value which was what 2.107. See here also if the option was 2.11 then also it would have been okay. You can round it off to two digits. Okay. So please understand when you have something like this, there are there are many other possibilities in which you could have gotten your final answer. So I hope this is very, very clear to everyone. Now for those of you who are new to my channel, I would like to tell you all that I, every day I upload three videos. One is at 8 a.m. Next is at 12 o'clock noon. And the last one is at 5 o'clock in the evening. Okay. Now all of these videos are basically sums or uh, problems where I can see my students struggling okay apart from this if you have doubts if you have doubts then please mention your doubts in the comment section I will definitely try to make a video on the same okay also in between this time slot I upload one quiz which is in the form of a short so if you like all of this entire bunch of mathematics or you want to be a part of this entire journey of mine then please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of the latest updates which i've up uploaded on my channel that's it for today i will see you in the next video